should have stopped. I have two letters is all I have left from Jack. He was a reporter for the Huntsville Times in the 1980s, and he's FBI agent. And um, like I say, he saved my life. I found out that um, I had written a book on mind control, not knowing that I had been kidnapped in my real name, not until 1983. And that was the reason that they tried to kill me because I, well, part of it was the book and the names in it, like uh, about mind control murders. And Congressman Dr. Larry McDonald was a urologist at Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta. Uh, his plane was late, he was on the plane, the KL, that was later taken down August the 31st of 83. Believe me, he is not the good guy here. He was en route from Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. The plane veered into Russian airspace. The passenger plane was 200 plus uh, passengers. He was shot down by the Russian jet and um, all aboard were supposed to perish into the ocean. Now then, I was flown out to Larry Flint and I'm leaving out the hell that had been done to me and was ongoing. I uh, was flown out to Larry Flint, who had been shot in um, Lawrenceville, Georgia, and the person who shot Mr. Flint was programmed to do so and kill his attorney. Now then, I'm just going to show the endorsement he did in 84 April. My father is Edward VIII. He never married Wallace Simpson. He married Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, sister to artist George O'Keefe. And Jack lived next to, uh, in 83, let's see, 84, Jack had moved out to um, Santa Fe, and that's next door to Ghost Ranch where my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe, and I was just finding out then my identity after they tried to kill me, and believe me, they never stopped it. But Jack sent me letters that were very important, and I put them up a couple of years ago, for engagement. I'm kept penniless just about, and um, so I could upload it. But now I find that some of my videos were put on the can't be viewed list. I told him nothing but the truth. You can't even get the story in hell that was that has been done uh, on the video. So anyway, I want to continue with the last one. The rest of the letters have been taken. I didn't know it until I started going through the few files I have. And I'm going to put these up, the last, this, it was two, and this is the last part of the, thir uh, this is the third that I'm putting up tonight. And this is the 22nd, Friday, the 22nd. January of 2016. Um, and the Freemasons, uh, the Illuminati, the Jews, Joe Kennedy was ambassador to Great Britain, um, put there by Roosevelt. They helped kidnap me, take down my father, who never married Wallace Simpson, as I said, and uh, there was an addendum to the forced abdication. Can you guess this? My dad never married Wallace Simpson. He was married to a beautiful lady, a school teacher, and look what they've done to him. I'd like his name to be cleared, and the fact that I'm his daughter, and I never, they took me from him and my mom at age two and brought me to a hellhole in Moulton, Alabama. I put all that up, and as far as I know, I want to put this in. It's my understanding Jack is a relation, if not a cousin, to Hank Hartsville, the astronaut. Well, now, Hank, has, uh, Hank Hartsville uh, was commander of a couple of the shuttles, and um, he was from Alabama. But I wanted to finish this about uh, the letter from Jack, for whatever reason. The only two I have left, and I'm going to put them up. Um, I thought I knew what I was doing, although in re this is to the FBI agent who became uh, police chief in Huntsville when I was taken there in 80 and had antifreeze put in me and almost died. I passed a background check for Sheriff Patterson as required to work for Fred Simpson 
Madison County DA, Huntsville, Alabama. That's NASA, Marshall Space Flight Center, the Army uh, Command Center there, Bridgestone, Arkansas. So I just want to finish this part of it. Corruption in law enforcement and the courts and the string of unusual deaths. So uh, Sal Mazzini, this was the letter to him from Jack, and I think it's dated, uh, oh gosh, June the 25th, 2008. And uh, so uh, Sal Mazzini, FBI agent, is now sent in there, and he and Jack kept saying no lie. Uh, and uh, he's police chief there. So this is a letter to back to Sal Mazzini from Jack Hartsfield. Well, I said his name. I hope Jack's okay. He meant for me to put these up, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, corruption law enforcement and courts and string of unusual deaths. A police fire department strike, the rise in drug trafficking and vice, Cold War questions, bribery, protection rackets, espionage, mercenaries, missing, I think he meant POW, no, POW missiles from arsenal storage, gun running, arsons, enough at least to send up an emergency flare, wouldn't you say? And a nonchalant attitude from the news executive at the Huntsville Times. Oh, I went there with where I was almost killed with antifreeze and I was working for the VA. You should know how they treated me, the editor and everything. Jack was a reporter there and did save my life. Of course, he's an FBI agent, too. But they uh, did him in. Anyway, uh, even after I ran out, was run out of town on a rail, this is Jack to uh, Salvazini, fired from the newspaper, divorced, lost my home and what was left of my journalistic reputation. It took more time to decipher a lot of links, among them leading to Iran-Contra, as you are well aware. But I tried to do what I thought was the right thing for an honest journalist to do. I recall another visit to Huntsville I didn't think I ever discussed or mentioned to you, Jonathan Winner, at that time a staffer at the National Law Journal, came to sit down with me in Huntsville to discuss what we both perceived to be an odd string of Huntsville happenings. The same Jonathan Weiner today is considered one of the nation's leading authorities on counterterrorism, money laundering, and links to organized crime <coughs> and criminal elements worldwide. He's an APCO worldwide in D.C. today, formerly with the State Department and, cons and a consulate to U.S. Senate committee. When I first met Jonathan, he was still a very young man in the beginning of his career. He was later legal consultant to U.S. Senator John Kerry for 10 years before moving to the State Department. I doubt that neither Jonathan nor I knew back when just how far these local uh, yo-ho, um, I'm going to lose where I was at here, operations in Huntsville would continue to go. I confess I did try to push buttons with the Boston Globe, Miami Herald, uh, Newsday, Atlanta Journal, Los Angeles Times, uh, the Daily Oklahoma, Nashville Banner, New Birmingham News, etc., etc. Now do you suppose that was when I was fired from that sterling bastion of journalistic integrity, the Huntsville Times? Since I was... Uh, Basically, at the Huntsville Times, I currently receive the uh, amount of not much, I'm not going to put it down, months for his 15 year effort in the paper. However, reluctant they are to pay even that. And later, by the way, they gave him a sterling recommendation after so much of what happened to me and Jack's attempts to tell the stuff about Landmark and all that. Uh, and then had heart attacks, by the way. So they couldn't deny what I was saying about mind control murders, Des made to appear in the natural cause. They were a bunch of crooks, uh, uh, editors of the Huntsville Times. But anyway, Jonathan Weiner testified before Senate Committee in 2003 on international spider web of money laundering, funding criminal elements and terrorists. 
hit a home run with me with one classic remark. 